What's up, everybody? I know I'm gonna get a little bit of heat for this, but. I'm wearing a Philly Eagles hat. I mean, I got this thing on sale. It's like four or five dollars, and it's fitted. And you know, I just like the color. But I'm not an Eagles fan. Okay, I promise. But I, I do support all football teams. I like, I like them all. But the Bucks are my favorite. Poor little guys. These guys are never in the cage, so when we put them in, they kind of freak out. Unfortunately, well, we can't take them with us. We got a couple things to do today. I'm gonna go to the Apple store. We have to meet up with a lawyer, family stuff, you know, but everything's good. Nothing to be worried about. Doesn't she look fabulous today? Ew! <laughs> she looks fabulous. Holy crap, it is hot. Let's see how hot it is. Oh boy, check that out, man. Yo, check out this truck right here. This looks like a Mad Max truck. Look, look at that. Whoa! We're at this place right now. It's called Four Rivers Barbecue. When this place opened up for the first time, which was like, what, a year ago? There would be a line all the way, I mean, when this place first opened up, of course. It was like the newest, hottest thing ever, barbecue-wise. Ooh, that does look good. They have this really cool Italian ice place here. Maybe we'll go there after. You ever see, like, people, like, with food, and you're like, ooh, that looks good. Look at this place now, man. It's, like, dead. There used to be a line that would go from from here all the way to the front. And uh, there's, like, three people in there. Oh, I'm enjoying it just by looking at it. Look at those cupcakes. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Look at that brown hair. Stay tuned. This place might be on my abandoned businesses list maybe a couple months from now. Abandoned barbecue joint. No, I'm just kidding. I don't think this place will close down, but, you know, I don't know, man. I, I remember this place being, look how big it is. Sometimes it was hard to find a seat to sit down. They got really good food. Melissa got turkey sausage. She originally wanted turkey, but they gave her turkey sausage. Oh, you do? Yeah. What do you think? Tastes pretty good? I think it tastes pretty good. I ordered some smoked wings, but I haven't gotten them yet. Got some barbecue beans, some corn. Listen, got some coleslaw. Yo, that looks really good. I don't really eat pork, but I'm gonna try a little piece. Here you go, something for you too. Yummy. Oh wow, that has really good flavor. Okay, if I let you try some of this, you gotta promise me you're not gonna pass gas. Here are my smoked wings. Not fried, but smoked. Yummy. There's no way I'm eating all this. Here, one trip. Uh, actually, you know what? I like these a little bit better than the Sunny's wings. I like the Sunny's wings, but these have a really good like flavor, like a sauce on them. It's kind of like a sweet sauce. That's what she said. Ooh, it's spicy. It's a little spicy. Okay, let me see. Is that wing good? It's smile for everybody. How's it on my beef? Yeah. It's a big chunk. No. I guess it's like out. Which one's which? This is coconut and that's a peanut colada. Want to try one? Oh. This is pina colada? Coconut. 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 Okay. Thank you. Pretty good. Oh. Right. Tastes like an air freshener. <laughs> oh. Air freshener. It's pretty good. <laughs> oh, I like the pina colada. 
Um, yeah, let me get a small, like, small okay. pina colada. And obviously not with ice cream. Mm. <laughs> you should try that. You don't like it? Try it. It tastes just like peanut butter. Huh. It's like if you put a jar of peanut butter in the freezer or something. Yes. You don't like that? I don't like peanut butter like that. <laughs> yeah, if you like peanut butter, you'll like it. If you don't, <laughs> eh. Look at that. Looks like a Ninja Turtle. I ate like three chicken wings and I was full. So I got like lunch and dinner there. Actually, I got dinner. I got dinner there. But it's funny how you could always save room for dessert. I can. I know some people, they're like, oh, I'm too full for dessert. Well, this is really good. And there's no dairy in it. Fun fact about your boy Omar. I am lactose intolerant. If we eat ice cream together or I drink milk and I don't take one of my little lactose pills, I guarantee you won't like me, especially if the car windows are rolled up. Or what do you think of me when I drink milk and we're in the car together? Are you drinking nuts? She loves it. She's like, Oh yeah. I love your cologne, Omar. <sighs> Wouldn't it be funny if they actually sold fart cologne? I have good news and I have bad news. What do you want to hear first? Um, bad news. The bad news? Well, the bad news is, is the sun is in my freaking eye! Want to hear the good news? Sure. It's not 99 degrees! It's 93! <laughs> That's the good news! Want to hear the other bad news? There's other bad news. Sure. We're in freaking rush hour traffic! Look at all this traffic, man. This is why we do not live in the city of Tampa. Oh, this sucks. Well, we're trying to get out to the mall. The mall closes. Oh, my little clock on me doesn't work. It's, it's not lit up anymore. It needs a light bulb. So, but it says uh, 743. Well, we have an hour. Let me know what you think about this fisheye lens. I think it's pretty neat. Okay, this is my regular wide angle lens, see? Which is a 16 millimeter. Oh man, this freaking sun sucks. I mean, you know, I'm not gonna complain about sunshine. I love sunshine, especially in the winter. But this is the fisheye. Isn't that cool? It looks like a like a GoPro. You could you can see like everything in the car. I've been using it a lot more, I guess for my you know my daily videos. I'm trying to get on the whole daily routine again. Actually pretty cool. I, I really miss I miss you guys. Melissa misses you guys. I miss being able to you know, just be myself. I'm not saying that I'm not myself on my other channel. I just, I really miss just picking up my camera and talking to you guys. And I, I did try that a little bit on that channel. And I mean, some people do like it, but it didn't, uh, I don't know. I just feel more comfortable doing this kind of stuff here because we're closer. <clears throat> you and I, we're fam. This is the only channel well, we're fam. I mean, we're fam on that channel too, but there's a there's a lot of haters on that channel, believe it or not. What do you think? Well, yeah, look at the video you just put. Yeah, uh, that one really hurt me. It's got like, I want to say it's got like 50 dislikes now. I, I don't know. I, I think anybody who dislikes a video like that is heartless. Mm -hmm. It shouldn't matter if you don't believe that people should be gay. It shouldn't really matter if you are against their religion or anything. I mean, these are human These are human people. I think some of the people that are disliking that video are, it could be like people from the Middle East, people in other other countries that, that think that, you know, they hate America. I mean, whatever it is, I mean, I, I respect. Life is a life. Yeah, that's, that's how I look at it. A life is a life. It's innocent families that are affected by this. I was affected by this personally. Everybody was. I mean, the whole state of Florida, I mean, people are hurt. I mean, I, I took people to Orlando. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. I didn't do it for for gain. And if, if you notice, if you go look at that video, it doesn't even have my Omar Gosh TV watermark logo on it because I didn't want the video to be anything about me. I wanted it to be about Orlando as a tribute you know, to, to what's going on over there and just show people what's going on, you know? Because I knew I'd get some people like, oh, you're trying to do this for for gain and 
monetary gain and things like that. What a lot of people do not realize is every news station that's covering that story, guess what? They're getting paid for it. I actually went over there, had a busy schedule, went over there and I did this from the bottom of my heart because I love the city of Orlando and I didn't get paid for it. I did it for free and every bit of money on ads that goes on that video, which, you know, it's what, I, I've so far made $20 off there, not even, no, I think uh, I've made $2 off the video so far. But if the video gets more views eventually in the future, guess what? I'm gonna take that money, I'm gonna donate it to the fan. Whoa, there's like some kind of accident out here. That's why we had a lot of traffic right now. It actually had nothing to do with rush hour. It was, whoa, look at, look at this guy. Look at this guy. What a winner. What a winner. Did you see that? Did, did you see that? Oh, he's freaking out. He's seen me with the camera. Oh, he's, he, he went in the turning lane. I got your license plate, buddy. I'm actually doing some remodeling. They're putting a giant screen. Should be done before the season starts. It's Gerald McCoy. I used to be a season ticket holder for like three years. I'm tired of going to 95 degree weather games. Melissa went with me one time and we had to leave early. Mm -hmm. She was about to. Attack. Yeah, she almost died, man. <laughs> it was really, really hot. It's very she almost passed out and everything. If you ever come to Tampa, this is the mall you have to come and check out. It's called International Mall, or International Plaza. It's right by the airport. They have like all the really cool stores here like Louis Vuitton, Nordstrom, Neiman Marcus, Cheesecake Factory, that's my favorite. And there's a lot of other stores. I mean, they got the Apple store here. By the way, I'm a Mac, she's a PC, right? I used to have Windows computers and I just fell in love with the Macs because there's a little bit more support when it comes to like video editing, things like that. Let's go check some out. You guys ever seen that? They sell those as frozen pizzas, but that's like a really upscale pizza place. Whoa, that's like Shaquille O'Neal's couch, man. That's so fancy, it's so fancy. When I come here, I feel like a fancy lad. Fancy? Hey, that's new. It's like bald-headed mannequins with long eyelashes. We got a window store there. We're doing some like virtual reality stuff. Let's go get a closer look. Yo, that is cool. Ready to rock at the top right there? Yep. And then shoot it. And now you can start shooting it. It's going to be right in front of you from that area. So you can come sucks about this mall is most of the people walking around they're kind of stuck up they are very rich people you know I'm not saying all of them are but you could you could kind of see pride in people when they walk it's cool I still love them you know yo I didn't know they had Louis Vuitton shoes man check this out I wonder how much those cost. That's fake. Look at that. Like whatever you want, you grab, I guess. And whatever you don't want, you just leave it. I've seen stuff like that, like in on TV. It's like that's like a, that's it's like a sushi it's factory. Pockies. Oh, we got to get a closer look, huh? I mean, let me take this off here. Oh, that is so cool. 
don't know if you can see that, but there's little little bits of food on a conveyor and people get to grab them and stuff. I just noticed something today and it just hit me really hard. We are living in the future. Marty McFly, Back to the Future 2. Actually 2016, but we're living in the future. We just don't have the flying cars yet. It could be worse, you could look like one of them. A Tesla store. That's rad. I'm gonna buy you that outfit. Why not? I think it's sexy. Worried for a second because I wasn't finding the Apple store. This is almost a computer I have here. Except I paid less. Uh, I gotta show you something really cool. I've used these before, and Joby has this magnetic one. Check this out, man. Look, it's magnetic. Whoa! Oh, I guess you can wrap this gorilla pod around metal objects, and I mean, this thing is pretty solid all around. I I do have one. I don't use it a whole lot because it's kind of big, but these are these are smaller. You'll pay a lot of money for them, but they're they're good. I think you get them a little cheaper on Amazon. But they have a magnetic one. Look at that. Even the box is magnetic. Now these are like 3D images in a cube. There's another one. There's the website right there if you want to get a 3D cube. Pretty awesome. So you guys do this all here? Yes. Oh, wow. Oh, this is the machine that does it? Yes. We put the crystal on and with two lasers we engrave inside of the crystal. Yeah. So this is never going to fade. Never. I mean that is amazing man. Check that out. You can see it from the side too. I don't know if you guys can see that. Right. Yeah, let me get a shot of the dog. Right. Yeah, you can see it from the side. I had to get a closer look for you guys. Sushi to go. Any like pizza on that or anything? Any pizza? Yeah. No. no. Bye, Rich Stuck Up people. I love you. I'll see you next time. If you're wondering why I went into the Apple store, I needed a charger for my MacBook. Malia's been using my MacBook Pro a lot. My original charger took crap. And we got like a cheap $30 charger on Amazon. Garbage. It it literally like the, a little piece fell off of it and it's unusable. Take a wild guess how much an Apple MacBook charger costs. The real Apple one. Just, just guess for a second. And maybe say it out loud. Yeah? You're wrong. Look at that. $79. $79. I was going to say $79.99. $79 for freaking charger. But yeah, I'm going to be going to California next week for VidCon and I want to be able to work on videos while I'm there. I can't take my bigger computer along, so I'm going to take my Mac. One word of advice. If you're thinking about getting a Mac, I like I said, I came from Windows. I really like Macs. One thing that I love about Macs, not only the editing and stuff, that comes along with it but they're they're efficient they're fast they're not vulnerable for viruses i mean i know you can get viruses with macs but not like windows when i had a windows computer even a good windows computer for editing video it was just real difficult to you, know, you got to have all this spyware remover and virus protection and stuff you don't really need that with macs it's just always it's always efficient great computers also don't ever buy a Mac brand new. I've, I actually have never bought a Mac brand new. The only thing I've bought that's brand new, of course, is the charger. But you can get them cheap. There's very similar spec Macs that you can get that are a couple years old for more than half the price. And being that they don't, you know, most of them don't have viruses, you're probably going to get a pretty nice computer. 
I've never had a problem with getting an old Mac. My MacBook Pro that I that I originally got was my first editing beast, and that's what I'm going to be using in California next week. I used it in Orlando to edit. I think it was the graveyard video, the Civil War graveyard video, and as you can see, there's no difference between the editing on that and what I've edited or what I've used with you know my my larger Mac that's a little bit faster, but they're great and. You can get them used for cheap. The brand new MacBook Pros, they're like $2,000, almost $3,000. I think I paid like 600 bucks for my MacBook Pro. It's a couple years old. So yeah, if you're going to get a Mac, get them used. I'm telling you, you get a really good deal. And you can get, I mean, they have the same processors. Some of them do. Look for an i7 processor. Anything above 8 gigabytes of RAM. Even if it has 4 gigabytes of RAM, you can always upgrade it. My MacBook Pro was originally four gigs of RAM, and I upgraded it to 16, and now it's super fast. Wanna keep your kids? Hey guys. Hello. You guys haven't played around with the parrots at all? No, they play Zen together. Have they? Yeah. They're both standing on the blue thing, like together. All right. And they were perfectly fine. Hi, little babies. Oh, he's so pretty. So I guess whenever you want birds to get along, or even kids, just put them in a closed-in area together, and they'll get along. Come here, give me kisses. Give me kisses. Come here, baby. Oh, yeah. It's so pretty. I have a name for the bird. Sweet pea. Nope. Her name is... It's Molia. It's... Kiwi! <gasps> yeah, that's perfect. It's a cool name, right? Yeah, it looks like a kiwi. Thank you guys for sharing all your really cool names. I, I liked a lot of the names you guys submitted, but there was several people that said kiwi. And uh, I, I can't say any names because there was more than one, but everybody who said kiwi, I love the name, and that's our baby's name. <laughs> kiwi! M Melissa doesn't like it. I don't, I don't know why. It's not stupid. It's cute. That's, let Let me know if you oh, like that name. You like it, right? Yeah. My friend named her bird Kiwi, and it's the most annoying bird I know. Oh well, this is not gonna be an annoying bird. Kiwi. They're a pretty light green color. Sweet pea. Kiwis look like that. They're like green. Well, she's a she's a vibrant kiwi. I'll be calling her sweet pea. Well, you can call her whatever you want. Her name is Kiwi. What is this guy doing? What's he doing? Um. He's biting on your hat. It's funny because uh, like he ruined one of my hats. It was like one of my favorite hats, my gray hat. He jumped on top of it, pooped on it, <laughs> and I, ow, oh, that hurt. Stop biting my ear. He pooped on it and I tried to like rinse the poop off and it stained, it stained the hat. Give me a kid. Ow, he bit my lip. Oh my they are so cute. Oh my gosh, I gotta show you this video. Okay, the other day, I was out with John and Dylan. Oh, I watched your... Um, Did you see it? The one that's on Facebook? Oh, no, 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 not really that, not that, not I that. I watched that one. Then. Okay, that, that's a different video. Today. This I, I was with them that day, too. This was yesterday, but I'm going to show you this clip. I, I drove by this place all the time, and you could see wild Quaker birds. Stop. Wild Quaker birds, ma mainly the green ones, and they, they have like a, a colony. Stop. <laughs> and they're always flying. <laughs> so, he's biting your ear. I know, he likes to know my ear. But hey, I'm going to show that clip right now. I think it's really cool. That way you can see that we have wild birds. These birds. Like, if you want, you could actually go and try to catch. I wouldn't. You know, these birds, they were actually brought up around families and stuff. So, I would hate to take a bird that is used to flying and freedom and trying to put them in a cage. I mean, not that we keep our birds in a cage, but that's bad. But I thought this was really cute. I want to show this to you. And yeah, okay, here we go. This is a Quaker parrot. See that? Wild Quaker parrot. That is Jupiter and, you know, my other bird. They have a colony of them and there's a there's nest. Another one. Where's the other one? There's another one, one tree before that palm tree and one just landed in the palm tree. Oh yeah? That's so cool, man. You see the- Oh, there's one right here. Oh, you see the one just fly in? Into yeah. the palm tree? You can hear them. Yeah. Those are wild Quaker parrots. How cute! I want one! You already have one. <laughs> I know. 
And then right here is that other nest. Uh, there's a nest over here too. See, that's a Quaker nest. That's cool. Yeah, they thrive. They thrive out here. See them a lot. And there is right there. another nest right there. They make some pretty large nests. And they're really small birds too. Yeah, they're small. There's one right there on the tree. Oh look, there's like two or three of them right there oh, look together. Right here. Yeah. Super cool. Wasn't that cool though? I, I gotta show this to you. This is really cool. Well, it's not cool, it's actually really funny. Uh, Jupiter bit kiwi. He, he bit her feather. And it was actually real long, I actually, oh! <laughs> but it was a real long feather and it was pointing down. You could kind of see it Yeah, right and it there. was like sideways here. It was bent like this way. <laughs> Jupiter's a bad boy, he did that. Right, Jupiter? <laughs> this bird is actually a month younger than Jupiter, but she's way bigger. Now, we don't know what Jupiter is. We know that she's a girl, but you could see. Jupiter right next to her. They say the males are always a little smaller. So he's biting your shoulder. Sometimes he'll randomly like nibble on your neck. He bit my nose before. Did he? And my lip. Because he was hungry and I went to go and kiss him. He's like playing with your hair. Oh, he does that. He always tries to eat my hair. What happened? Um. So like there's a broken water gun and Max like threw it at the wall and then Valerie went to throw it at Max and like it, I went to like catch Okay, it. I want the short answer. It hit my, a uh, broken water gun hit my hand. How do women gotta like explain a freaking novel? You said novel? what happened. What was it? A broken water gun hit my hand. Okay, broken And cut it. A broken then, plastic water gun. Yeah, there was gun. like skin over it and I ripped it off. Yeah, I, I, I was just kidding. Why did you Oh, I think they're doing pretty good together. Exploit my neck. Well, they were stuck in a cage all day. Oh, she just totally pooped on your neck. Are you serious? Yeah. That's grody. No, I'm just kidding. I like the noise Jupiter makes when you pick him up from his back. Oh, he's like, Rawr. Yeah. <laughs> here, I'll do it right here. See? <laughs> he wants to bite you, too. No, she don't do it. Do it again, do it again. He goes like exorcist on him. Oh. No, she doesn't do it. Hmm. Do you want to take it off right now? Cookie's like, where's my love? Let him get a kiss. You know how you know Cookie needs a haircut? When you touch her and her whole face is wet after drinking water. Thanks again for the really cool names. The birds say thank you. And they say goodnight. Appreciate you guys watching and supporting our channel. Peace out. You want to say bye? Bye.